Hi, it's Ben Scotty from Pharmacy. I'm here to talk to you today about some medicines fridges. The Trust has invested in a large number of these LabCold 19 fridges, which come in four sizes, with each model identifiable from the sticker inside. We still have some older LabCold medicines fridges that operate slightly differently, and also many LEC brand fridges as well. The LabCold Series 19s record and store a minute by minute record so we can see how long a temperature excursion lasted. And from that, we can make sound judgments about how safe it is to continue to use any affected medicines. To read the minimum and maximum temperature, touch the HL button. The display will run through the highest and lowest temperatures recorded inside the refrigerator since the last reset. Reset both by touching and holding the HL symbol until CFN flashes on the display. Then touch and hold the tick symbol until the display reverts to the temperature and the memory has now been reset. Each refrigerator has an internal clock with backup batteries. Make sure you have an accurate date and time to hand, e.g. on a smartphone. Hold your hand against the display to wake it up. Palm side to the display. Then touch the up down arrows simultaneously for a couple of seconds. Move through the functions by touching the up or down arrows until you see D-T, which stands for date time. Touch the tick and the display will go into year. If it needs adjusting, use the up down arrows or leave it if it's correct. Touch the tick again to move to month, which has an N prefix. Change or move forward to date by touching the tick and so on through hour and minute adjusting as necessary. Finally, touch and hold the tick to store the new date time. The display will drop back to show the temperature automatically or you can access other functions such as battery status. To check that the low battery power alarm function is set to on, bring up the function menu and scroll through to BAT, B-A-T. Touch the tick and the display should say on. If it says off, it needs switching to on by touching an up or down arrow. Once it displays as on, then touch and hold the tick. If it turns out the battery power is low and the fridge is bleeping for new batteries, you will need four double A's to replace the old ones, which are accessed in the battery compartment on the outside of the fridge on the right side near the bottom rear. There are a number of other fridges in use in the trust. The modern LEX have good instructions on the door, so follow these. Instructions for the basic operations for all the fridges are available on Ollie in the Medicines Management folder. The older Lab Cold is the only other medicines refrigerator that also has a battery backup and a clock. The current temperature in the refrigerator is displayed, so simply record that. To check the maximum, press the high-low button and release. To reset the maximum and minimum recording, press and hold the high low button. The display will change to flash high low, then revert to normal operation. Release the button, you've now reset the memory. The older legs in the trust have one of two different control panels. For this one, press the I button. THI will appear on the display. Press and hold this button again to display the maximum temperature. Record the number. Release the button and TLO will appear. Press and hold this button again to display the minimum temperature. Record the number. Do not insert a decimal point if this is not illuminated in the display. It's normal to have a zero illuminated in front of the number. To reset the temperatures, press the I button. Then press and hold the I again and press the X button too. Release both buttons, then press the I button and press the X button too. You now reset the maximum and minimum te recorded temperatures. Ignore the T1 on the display. For fridges with this display, press and hold the left arrow button to show the minimum temperature. Record this, then press the set button to reset the minimum temperature measurement. Then press and hold the right arrow button to show the maximum temperature. Record this, then press the set button to reset the maximum temperature measurement. You've now reset the maximum and minimum recorded temperatures.